Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to see how we can move files from OneDrive for Business to SharePoint and also we will see the vice versa how we can move file from SharePoint to OneDrive for Business. So both the things we will see here in this particular video. Now let me open the SharePoint site. So if you open any document library and you select a document and you will see by default there are options which is saying copy to and move to so both options are same only difference is when you do copy then the uh, source file will be still there but if you will do move then uh, the source file will not be there it the file will be available only at the destination now when you will do move to you can see here you can also move to your OneDrive for business that is one way of one way where you can move files from SharePoint to OneDrive and also same options are available in uh, OneDrive for business where you can move that file from that OneDrive to your SharePoint online site. But we will see here how we can do this thing by using Microsoft Flow or the Power Automate. So in this case what will happen whenever user will uh, go to a particular document library uh, the user will create a file or upload a file then the file will be moved to OneDrive for Business. The same thing also will happen in our OneDrive for Business. For example, if I will open OneDrive for Business here, you can see here this is my OneDrive for Business. If I will upload a file or create a new file, then that file will move to the SharePoint site. So that is what we are going to do here. And as I said, copy and move, the difference is in move, we have to do another additional step, which is saying that delete the file from the source, whether it is OneDrive for Business or whether it is the SharePoint Online. Now, to test it, what we'll do here is, I will uh, go to my flow.microsoft.com and uh, uh, here also if you have not not yet uh, if you are not familiar with uh, microsoft flow i'll put some links where i have explained from the beginning i have done few examples on that so you will be able to know how to start with microsoft flow and what are all these things now here click on create you can see there is a button and uh, then we will select automated cloud flow this is the automated flow now the name has been changed to cloud flow they have added now click over here and here give a file name for here the flow name sorry so i will give copy file from onedrive for business to sharepoint and then the trigger point so in this case if you'll see here i'll select when a file is created in onedrive for business because we want that time only the flow should trigger and this should this should copy the file to your uh, SharePoint online. Now, when a file is created in OneDrive for Business, you can see here this is OneDrive for Business uh, flow action. Now, click on create. Now, you can see here. So, when a file is created, we have to select the folder. So, in this case, it is the root folder. So, just select the root folder. Or if, even you can just put black backslash here. And then next, uh, once you have uh, one the, once the file got created, we need to read the content. So there is a flow action is there for OneDrive. So get file content. Uh, we using path you can see here, and I'm selecting the OneDrive for Business because we need to read the content from OneDrive for Business. So select it here, and then it is saying uh, that you select uh, the file path. So in this case, you can put a slash which represents the root folder and then the file name. So you can see here. So this way it will give you the content of that particular file. And once you have the content, then uh, click on another step. We need to add it. So in this case, what we'll do now here is we'll create a file. Uh, so I will select create file. And in this case, I will select SharePoint because we want the file to be created in the SharePoint. So select create file and i will select the site address in this case sp guides is my site name the folder path uh, it is our uh, click on this folder icon and in this case it will be on shared documents if you have uh, any other library you can select that also and what will be the file name the file name will be whatever the file name it has in onedrive for business so i uh, i select this one and then file content is the file content you can see here you will get from dynamic content file content here that came from this particular step so make sure you add this step then only this file content will be available 
and the last step that we will do here is we need to delete the file from one drive so again i will select delete file and uh, if you will scroll down you can see here delete file one drive for business select this and here we need to uh, provide the unique identifier to the file if you will scroll down uh, you can see here file identifier which is the unique identifier for this file and you can see here we have selected it so now our flow is done so uh, four steps are there when file is created we read the file content then we create a file in the SharePoint and then we delete the file from our OneDrive for Business. Now save this file so you can see here the file has been saved. Uh, now you can go to your OneDrive for Business then you can upload a file the flow will trigger and you should see a file over here in this particular library. Uh, to test it what we can do here is anytime you can uh, click on flow, flow checker so that you will be able to know if there is any uh, error are there so you can see here in this case there is no error uh, click on test and we have two options manually and automatic you can see here manually i'll select click on test uh, then what it is saying is to see uh, it work now add a file to your onedrive folder you've selected so that means now to test it we have to upload a file to our onedrive for business in this case you can see here i've selected this word file uh, into my OneDrive for business you can see here this is the root folder which where we have selected in our flow now you can see here it will automatically process and you will be able to see those steps here now you can see here first two steps are uh, green that means already completed the third step it was uh, brown now it is done you can see everything is green delete file is also green now let me just see whether this file is there or not you can see here this file is still there but if I'll refresh it, you can see the file is not there one day for business. That means the file already deleted from here. And you can see here the file is there already in our documents document library. So this way we will be able to move the documents from our one day for business to our SharePoint. Now what we'll do here is we will do another example, the other example which you, which we'll do. Uh, where we will try to move the file from our SharePoint to OneDrive for Business. That means user will come here to this uh, document library. If user will upload a file, what it will do is it will copy the file to our OneDrive for Business and then it should delete the file from here. Now for that what I'll do is click on create flow and uh, same automated flow and this time I'll give the name as uh, let's say I'll say move file from SharePoint to OneDrive for business and then the trigger point in this case is when a file is created uh, you can see here I will select you will be able to see all these SharePoint actions here so if you will search for file you will be able to see here when a file is created properties so uh, properties only you can select this one um, so and then you can see here I have selected the SharePoint uh, um, uh, SharePoint flow here you can see uh, not this uh, our OneDrive because we want that tr the trigger should happen uh, whenever user will upload a file in the SharePoint library now click on create so once you click on create uh, we will select the uh, site address here SP guides uh, the library name so it is documents document library and next what we will do here is we will see how to uh, how to read the content so click over here and then we will see here uh, get file content so I will search for get file content and in this case you can see here get file content using path I have and I have selected SharePoint one so in this case I will uh, select the SP guides here and then the file path so in this case i will select uh, our library which is shared document and uh, uh, just select one from here and then you can actually uh, we will select the file name here uh, so which will be your file name with extension so if i will just search for file name you can see here file name with extension is there because that is quite important let me just remove this so now you can see here shared documents slash file name with extension because uh, we require the extension as well so the file path will be there with extension 
and once you have the content then what we will do here is uh, we will create a file and this and then in this case we will do uh, our one drive for business so i will say create file and here i will select create file one drive for business and what will be the folder in this case the folder will be you can see the root folder and what will be the file name the file name will be the file name with extension so i will just select here file name you can see here file name ex with extension is coming here and what will be the file content it is the file content that we get from this tape so now you can see here we have got these things next thing is we will try to delete a file uh, from our sharepoint so i will say delete file and you can see here delete file sharepoint and here we select uh, the site name and the file identifier you can see here you can provide uh, a file name here identifier so you can see here there is an identifier select this hopefully it will work here and uh, next what we will do here is now we can uh, save this flow because this is what we have done here now we uh, when a file is created we read the file content then we create a file in onedrive and then finally we delete the file from our sharepoint now click on test so that we will test it here click on test and you can see here uh, apart from the starting action so in this case what we'll do here is i'll go to my sharepoint site you can see here files i'll upload a file here let's say i'll upload this time this file uh, you can see here this is the word document and uh, now you can see here the flow is running hopefully this last one will work you can see here so now you can see here uh, all this uh, flow actions are green that means everything ran successfully so if i'll go to this library you can see here let me just refresh it you can see we didn't see that file but if i'll come to onedrive for business you can see here this is the docx file that we have created here uh, so that means that si that file has been moved from there to here so this is how we can uh, copy or move files from onedrive to sharepoint using microsoft flow or power automate the same thing we have done uh, also we saw how we can move the file from sharepoint to onedrive for business using microsoft flow or power automate so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint online office 365 power platform like power apps flow power automate all these uh, videos that you will get it free thank you and have a nice day